Under titties, underrated. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. <laughs> Going back to Top Gun though, I've definitely grown more of an appreciation to any action films with Tom Cruise in them. Just because, have you guys been like, been recommended the clips and the shorts that are just basically a bunch of Tom Cruise interviews describing all the stunts that he's done? No. Bro, that man, Tom Cruise, as we know, is fucking insane, yeah. right? But he's the right kind of insane to make amazing action movies. Right, right. Because he is very like old school when it comes to stunts and everything like that. Does he do all of his stunts? Right now he does, I don't know if he does all of them, but a lot of them right, he does right. by himself. So right. one of the craziest stunts, I haven't even seen the movie, but one of the craziest stunts I've heard um, him talk about recently was in one of the recent Mission Impossible movies, mm. they do like a halo jump. Mm. Uh, and what's a halo jump? That, <sighs> it's where you like jump from like the stratosphere, I think. Yeah, yeah. So I, I believe it's like a, can, can can we fact check exactly what a halo jump is? Um, but basically, it's a skydive. Mm. It's it's a skydive. Skydive from space. It's a skydive from space, right? See, yeah. well, not. I don't know if it's from space, but it's a it's either a very low or very high skydive. I'm gonna yeah. guess very high, right? Yeah. A and very low skydive <laughs> would just be a fall. <laughs> <laughs> I, I meant at a, either a low altitude than usual or a yeah. higher altitude. I than think usual. it's higher. That, I think that's it's higher. that's what How I high mean. is it? Uh, well, Halo stands for high altitude low opening. Okay, okay. Military parachuting jump. Yeah. Right, right. It's from the stratosphere, right? I'm pretty sure. Or it's like above the stratosphere or something. Anyway, it's a really high sky yeah. Dive, yeah. So in this movie, because after him, after watching him talk about it, I actually went out and watched the scene in this movie, and yeah. it's it's one long shot, right? Right, right? It's one fucking long shot of them jumping out of the airplane, and then there's this there's this in, entire fucking action sequence that happens midair, mm. and it's all done like IRL yeah. in real life, where one I know of, what IRL stands for. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> where, <laughs> I just, just, just in case the viewers didn't know, okay. where one of the, one of the guys gets like struck by lightning. That's obviously CG, but right. obviously he passes out, and Tom yeah. Cruise has to basically help him fix this. Help him fix. Wait, he gets hit by lightning mid skydive. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's God, what happens. How unlucky could you be? <laughs> <laughs> well, to be fair, they do the halo jump in a thunderstorm, so oh, okay. so you know, you know, uh, it's, it's not like they're fucking, kind of asking for it. It's, it's, it's not like they just jump out of a plane and then God's just like, I'm going to yeah, smite yeah. this one person. Yeah, you, you made it sound like it was like clear blue skies and it's just like one strike. It's like, <laughs> that would be quite unfortunate. Yeah. So yeah, Tom Tom Cruise's character has to help him fix um fix his parachute and fix everything in midair. Yeah. Um and then they fucking are able to just land safely, mm. I guess, afterwards. But mm. it's all done in one shot. It's one unbroken shot, right. right? And Tom Cruise was talking about it and they only had one take a day, right? Because the sh it was shot right as the sun was rising. Yeah. So they had one take a day to do like this three to four minute shot, right? Jeez. Which was a highly advanced skydiving Technique and sky and skydive uh, skydiving sequence where what happens is the first shot is like the camera guy had to literally fly out mm. and Tom Cruise had to fly out and he had to catch up to the camera guy to like I believe a few inches because it needed to be in focus right like he needs right. he needs to c catch up to the cameraman and stop midair at the right length for the camera to be in focus right before going off past the cameraman. Yeah. And that just, that's fucking insane. Yeah. How insane do you have to be to choreograph I want to see all the outtakes of that. Huh? I want to yeah, see, see the outtakes of that like as well. I'm just like Tom Cruise is running into the camera guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's like head first. Yeah, it's it, definitely hearing him talking about it and now watching back to the sequence, it's mm. definitely given me way more of an appreciation to some of the shit that he does on screen in his action movies. Mm. Cause I haven't seen Top Gun, but I've heard mm -hmm. everything was also done with the same kind of mindset where mm. we're not doing, we're not using CG. We're doing as much of this in real life as we possibly yeah, the can. Stuff was crazy in that movie. Mm. Really yeah. impressive. Mm. Yeah, what was the action scenes like in that movie? Oh, like nuts. Like you do, cause it's all like real jets. I'm pretty sure mm. at yeah. least for most of it. And yeah, it's just crazy scenes, like really cool. Uh, like choreographed scenes between two jets as well. Like, mm. yeah. it's, I don't know, it's, just, it's sick. It's just right. a great movie. Go watch yeah. it. You'll love it. 
If you, if you if you have an appreciation for that, you'll you'll like Top Gun. I mean, I okay. loved the original Top Gun, so yeah, yeah. It's I, not I, it's not as homoerotic, sadly. Mm. Uh, it's is, not. Oh, no, which is you know. I don't know if I want to watch it. I don't know if I want to watch it. Yeah, well, because this one's more of like a he's like a mentor. I was ready to take my fucking top tier boxes with me as well and everything, just to be extra comfortable. The first one is just about you know him being struggling with his gay identity, which he didn't want. Have you seen that Quentin Tarantino clip of him talking about? Wait, why? This is good short. Quentin Tarantino is just fucking talking about how Top Gun is secretly a movie about gay guys or something. Yeah, like, yeah. Like, like some someone discovering the home, uh, yeah. um, the homosexual side yeah, in, yeah. Uh, in Top Gun. Yeah, isn't it just a movie about boys playing volleyball? <laughs> that's, <laughs> all that's all that movie is about, right? It's like, I just want to play volleyball, well, beach volleyball okay, with it, the boys. It, it, yeah, I got to show you this clip after this uh, after this recording because it's yeah. it's the most Quentin Tarantino clip you could ever <laughs> fucking imagine. And just what's what's funnier is just you see this clip, you scroll down to the comments, and it's just it's sometimes YouTube comments like they double the uh, the entertainment yeah, of a yeah, fucking. Yeah. Clip. They're like, sir, this is a Wendy's. <laughs> <laughs> That's so good. Oh my god. Well, no, like I, another film I watched recently because I don't, I don't actually watch many films. Mm. It's uh, Everything Everywhere All at Once. I Have watched you guys that. Seen that. I watched that yeah, as well recently. Good. Pretty good. Fucking incredible. Amazing. Film, came out the same time as Doctor Strange, and it's way better than it. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh my god, it's such a good movie. Choose, choose which multiverse, fucking multiverse of badness and multiverse. Of the the main uh, girl is the same actress in uh, Crouching Tiger, I think. Didn't yeah, yeah, yeah. Michelle Yo. Michelle, Michelle Yo. Yeah. yeah. The movie, yeah. the movie was amazing. Was yeah, I didn't know she could speak English. Yeah, me yeah. either. I, I, oh, she speaks perfect. Yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah well, yeah. now I know, now I know because I've because Crouching Tiger, she doesn't right. Well, because she's a really, really famous actress in China, and yeah. I've only seen her speaking, you know, Mandarin or Cantonese. Yeah. So I, I didn't know if she could speak English or not. Yeah. And uh, yeah, absolutely. I didn't, I didn't realize like how much of that film is spoken in Chinese. I thought it was. I, I fucking loved it. Yeah. Because no, there, it was really, really cool. Yeah, because there are some films, like uh, what's the other film? Uh, what's what's the film uh, where it's a girl meets a really, really rich guy? Um, and it's like also based in like Asia and shit. Not the one with Jackie Chan, right? Not the one with Jackie Chan. Where, God, where they meet a rich guy. Yeah, I was like, uh... No, help me out here. <laughs> Nabi, help me out. The one that was filmed in Malaysia. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So the, the one with Jackie Chan is also filmed in Malaysia. Oh, fuck. <laughs> <laughs> is every Asian romance just like fucking filmed in Malaysia? But Romeo and Juliet? <laughs> I have to, have to, have to look, look. Oh fuck, Michelle Yeoh was in that as well. I completely forgot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh my god. Of course she can speak English. I'm a, I'm a fucking clown. Oh my god. This, it's, 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 it's on the fucking tip of my tongue. Um, well, while you're thinking about that though, like I think yeah. the one thing I really appreciate about Everything Everywhere was just like how well, I mean, for one, it's fucking hilarious. Yeah. Like, but actually, like it's on the nose, but it's not like cheesy. I guess. Yeah. It's really good movie. And also, it's just really fucking shot well. Yeah, it like, is. It's almost like an. It was almost like an art house. Film. It really watching that gave me the same vibes. Not, not exactly the same like tone, but the mm. same vibes. It's like watching The Matrix for the first time, mm. where they just had this really, really interesting idea. Yeah, right. And they turned it into they they took this concept, mm. which in The Matrix was it's an all virtual world, and mm. you can break the rules of this virtual world, become a kung fu master, and all that. Yeah, yeah. I, it had that. I had that. It had that same kind of vibe, where it's this like really, anything could happen. Yeah, that this anything could happen. Yeah, and it was a really interesting concept, and they explored it in the most interesting way possible. Yeah, felt yeah. like everyone cared. In that movie, like yeah. every 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 little detail that, that yeah. it felt like it was really done to the utmost. Mm. Uh, you know, like even some of the fight scenes, yeah. like the camera angles were oh crazy. Oh my god, some of the choreography feels crazy. Yeah. I mean, movie. I mean, we know that Michelle Yeoh can fight. You know, yeah. and he's been in a lot in a lot of action films. Such a um, movie. So it was just yeah, it was just a fucking because it was so movie. weird. Because it's like I feel any other movie would like take the same concepts that Everything Everywhere had. Uh, and would just like really fucking dumb it down to the point where you wouldn't be able to take it seriously. Like yeah. the bagel, for instance. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, like that, doing... like that scene. Like was like I remember when I was watching that, I was just like, oh, okay, this is kind of <laughs> dumb. But then by the end of it, I was just like, no, the bagel. <laughs> like I was so invested in it, I was like, don't go into the bagel. And I'm like, I'm, I'm, and I just like stood back. I'm just like, what am I saying? <laughs> why am I? Why am I invested in this fucking bagel? <laughs> Yeah, it's it's one of the most refreshing films I've seen yeah. in a very, very long time. I mean, speaking of Matrix, you were saying, I also watch Matrix Resurrections. Whoa. Oh. No, is it 
Resurrection. Yeah, it's resurre- no, it's no, it's resurrection. Resurrection. Re- resurrection. Revelations yeah, yeah, yeah. is the. Th- uh, bro, it fucking stuff. needs a resurrection, bro. Yeah. Oh, oh my god. No, it did not need a resurrection. Dude, okay. No, it if, needs if, one now. It's dead. Yeah. If it's Top dead. Gun, if Top Gun is the perfect example of a, a, a lo- you know a long franchise coming back in a modern way and it being and it being successful. Yeah. Matrix Resurrections is the opposite, <laughs> where they just tried to throw in as much fan service as possible and it tried to be way too meta to the point where it's just fucking dumb. I think there's only like one person in the world that enjoyed Matrix Resurrection and that's the one person who wrote that script on fanfiction.com. Yeah. <laughs> because that's what it fucking felt like. Oh my God. The, just Did you the, watch it? I watched it, yeah. I haven't watched it. Just the whole meta of the it fact that- It sounded so bad. Just the I, whole yeah, meta of the fact that like Keanu Reeves' character is the one that like, he's a game developer who created the Matrix games. And then like Sony Entertainment is just like, we want you to make the next Matrix game, oh, I but it's this. actually the movie that you're currently watching. I'm just like, somewhere? I don't know. I, but know like, I think I think we might have. I think I might have mentioned. Yeah, it, I feel like yeah. we've had this conversation. I'm but, yeah. I, can't, I can't remember if it's been on camera or off, but I think though, I'm the glad one, someone gets my yeah. The yeah. one thing though that I think pissed me off the most. Are we more, about it? Yeah. yeah, yeah. I think the one thing though that pissed me off the most more than that was the fact that they replaced uh, Smith and Morpheus with two different actors. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm just like I, I I want Lawrence Fishburne. I don't know I don't know who this other guy is, but well, he's, he's not in, he's not my Morpheus. Well, well Lawrence Fishburne's in John Wick. Yeah, but but I, <laughs> sure. that's that's the new so, Matrix. But I was like, where's Matrix. Hugo they, Weaving? I want they, I want the Hugo <laughs> Weaving, Mr. Because, Smith. Because, not this fucking like. Because when you have Lawrence Fishburne and uh, John Wick, when they meet in the thing, you can feel the energy. It's palpable. <laughs> yeah. it's palpable. You can tell. He like he like fucking yeah. How you doing? <laughs> <laughs> <My> <laughs> man. It's good. It's good. I heard though that like they didn't even like hit up Lawrence Fishburne for this That's like fucked up new movie. It's like how could you not? Like he's yeah. such a hit pivotal. Him up for John he's such, yeah, they hit him up <laughs> well, with John Wick, but like you, he's such a pivotal actor in the the so Matrix good. franchise. I'm and sure. same with Hugo Weaving as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. And like, they replaced Mr. Smith instead of Hugo Weaving like Chad mode. They replaced him with this oh. fucking like he's a frat boy. He's, he's just, a frat, yeah, he's a frat boy. Man's a human fist bump. Yeah. Like what the fuck did they do to him? Yeah, he's like the he's like the Silicon Valley like crony that you would never want to be friends with. I'm just waiting for John Wick four now. Cause that, that got a, that got a, a tra- it's trailer recently. Oh really? Oh, yeah, really? it's got announced. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. End of 2023, maybe. I don't well, know. Hopefully they don't do a matrix revol- uh, resurrection. I'm sure, on it. I'm sure it's gonna be good. One, two and three were amazing. I'm sure four will be amazing. Yeah. As well. Have you yeah. watched John Wick? I've watched the first one. Yeah, I've watched the first one. Yeah. Oh, and, and I do yeah. want to watch the other two. I just haven't had the time. I don't mm. watch many movies. Mm-hmm. Actually. I, I don't really know what's going on, but it's such mm. a joy to watch. Yeah. Mm. I think because everything, because <laughs> it's such, I actually I never go back and watch the previous movie. So yeah. I remember one quite well, because the plot was simple. Yeah, right. And then two, it, something happens yeah. and th- I'm not sure. And yeah. then three, I'm just watching it and I'm thinking, yes, but the choreography is just amazing. I mean, you basically just describe the matrix yeah. <laughs> as well. It's so good. Like the fight scenes are so good in John Wick. It's mm, yeah. such a joy. Go, going back to uh, going back to everything everywhere all at once. Mm. What I was trying to remember, the film I was trying to remember mm. was Crazy Rich Asians. Oh yeah, yes. yeah. I I, th- I was genuinely going to say that as a meme because I thought that was no. That's 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 okay, literally. I, I, yeah, yeah, I didn't yeah. think that was the movie you were talking about. So oh no no. I was, no. was, was going to meme and say that. One. <laughs> well, because I was thinking, what other what other film about uh, about Asians? You, you said one? the word rich and Asian, so I was like, yeah yeah yeah. yeah oh, that's why I was oh, like, obviously, obviously, I was like, obviously, I should he was fucking talking about crazy this. rich Asians, he and he said rich Asians. Sixty percent of the title, and you're like, what was it called? I was like, what's the one with the rich Asians and and they're kind of crazy. <laughs> That's why I was going to say it as a meme. Cause I was like, there's no way it would be that movie because he would have remembered. No, because there's only rich- really one fucking movie about a rich, rich Asian. <laughs> I one of them, I don't one, of the, one of them like meets a rich person yeah. and one of them's poor or whatever. Oh you my know? God. Whatever, okay, it, was, it was crazy rich Asians. But okay. one, one thing that, uh, one thing that took me out of that film yeah. was the fact that pretty much everyone spoke English to that film, right? That film, right. right, and that's that's what that's what took me out of that film. That's mm. one thing I really really liked about everything, everywhere, all at once. Because I remember the the scene that took me out the most out of Crazy Rich Asians was when the mum was mm. talking to the son mm. and she was speaking in English, <laughs> and I'm like, there's no fucking way this would happen, even yeah. if they're bilingual. Yeah, 
if 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 a mum is scolding a son, you know for a fact she's using her mother tongue. Oh, there, yeah, there is absolutely course. zero fucking way that she's going to be speaking English. Yeah. And one thing I fucking loved is that they didn't give a shit in uh, in everywhere, uh, everything everywhere all at once. They, they there was such a mix between subtitles where you know they were speaking mm. they're speaking Chinese or yeah. Mandarin, and there was you know sometimes the daughter would just reply in English. Yeah, that's you know? what I like. Like even in the opening scene when like the husband and the the mom are talking to each other, yeah. like half of it is in like it's it's like a yeah perfect mix yeah. of like Chinese yeah. and then English and then right back to Chinese again. Yeah. I'm like that's so accurate that's, to real life. That's that's so, that's what it's like. That's what it would be like. Yeah, yeah. yeah. We, we don't speak English. Yeah. Like some people speak English. Sometimes it's a fucking yeah. mix. Sometimes your mom says something to you yeah. in, in her mother tongue and you reply in English because you can't be asked to fucking- Yeah, <laughs> you all can't the-, be all the di- e- Even though like the setting for that movie is so fantastical, the yeah. dialogue felt so real. It's It was so grounded in like, it was- it, it was so grounded in reality as yeah. well, in, in a sense where characters actually acted uh, like how I recognized, like I recognize how they do in real life yeah. and, and everything as well. Yeah. Um, and yeah, it just, it just made me, it just made me fucking happy to see my culture represented in this way, yeah, you know? Yeah, yeah. It's yeah, just, Definitely. you know, fucking yes. I, I mean, I feel like shows in general that, that interweave languages into the story mm. it, are generally just like, I mean, you have to, you're already going out of the way so much to do mm. that, right? Wow. So like stuff like Narcos, Breaking Bad, all those kind of shows that they get a lot of Spanish actors and stuff. Yeah, and yeah, like exactly. That's, it just it just makes the world so much more believable when mm. you have characters that are that would be bilingual or would speak X mm. language in that setting. Yeah, and it just shows that like oh. Somebody cared a lot about details. Yeah, mm. you know, and I, I don't give a fuck if I have to read some subtitles for two seconds. We're anime watchers. That's yeah, like, yeah, exactly. Oh, no, you don't fuck. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe you watch. Maybe you need English subtitles. I don't know. I don't yeah, know. Some, <laughs> yeah, sometimes I do. Yeah, sometimes <laughs> maybe, I do. Maybe you're watching English shows. You're like, oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's like, oh yeah. my god, yeah. Because uh, I, you know, obviously we're all bilingual here, mm. and so it's it was just so refreshing just to see like the bilingual life, mm. you know, be be actually like represented in film. Because yeah. I feel like for the longest time Hollywood was just like so scared of subtitles, except it was oh, yeah. like, like the only place I ever saw it was like World War II movies. Mm. Some reason World War II movies, okay, German, bad. We subtitle that, you know? <laughs> Everywhere else it's just like, okay, the bad guys are speaking English and I don't know why, but they're just, everyone just speaks it's, perfect it's, it's English. It's just because like, as a, as a director, if you're only fluent in English, you might not have the confidence to be like, okay, I trust that these guys can do their thing. Yeah. That, that, I, th- I feel, yeah, now that you say that, that was like the one like tiny aspect of The Last Samurai that I hated <laughs> was the fact that like, so in some instances where I'm like, why are you speaking English? Yeah. You are a fucking daimyo <laughs> <laughs> and you're just like busting out English. English to Tom Cruise. I'm like, that is not how it would have played out. I, 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 Speak I, Japanese. I, I, I'd like to think wherever Tom Cruise goes, people just start speaking English. Yeah. yeah like yeah. it doesn't matter who you are. And then like, they're yeah, like yeah. trying to like damage control it with like Tom, Tom Cruise is like, yeah, I can learn a couple of lines of Japanese for this film <laughs> and just say it in a really shit accent. It's like, yeah. no, 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 no. Yeah. yeah. Before, because I, I think like finally we're getting to the point where more like multicultural bilingual people have got have gotten their way into the movie industry yeah. and can able are able to handle this at a level that's, you know, satisfactory to the audience. Mm, mm, mm. Yeah, because before it was like, yeah, you know, fucking Germans in World War II movies or Russians. I, 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 I'm kind of thinking if there's any other languages that was like subtitled a lot or like, you know, any any proper languages that you see yeah. in a lot of horror, Hollywood films, but it's- Because it, every other European language would just be like, oh, let's just get an American actor kind of speaking English in that country's accent. Yeah, yeah. So it's like, if it was like a <coughs> French character, you would never hear them speaking French. They would just yeah. speak English in a French accent. Yeah, it's yeah, like, yeah. yeah, he's French. Trust. Or if it's if 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 it was like a fucking Middle Eastern, if it was set in the Middle East, then yeah. you'd never subtitle those characters. You know, <laughs> that was just a ra- that was just a random woman at a store. Yeah, that yeah. The, that the fucking that spoke perfect English. Yeah, yeah, that the fucking main character would, would be like running through or some shit like that. You know, <laughs> that's true. That's yeah. true. So yeah. Watch everything everywhere all at once. One of the best movies I've seen in a long fucking yes, time. Yes, I agree. I yeah, agree. such a good.